perfect so welcome back to coders den today we'll be discussing a new topic which is error handling week 14 error handling so the thing is in javascript while you are uh, why the javascript uh, engine runtime engine is executing your code there are times it is going to come across some errors and if those errors go unchecked <clears throat> where well, it can just stop your code and cause problems for you so there is something called error handling this way you can be able to okay quite literally undo your errors tell the uh tell javascript what to do when it comes across an error a particular error or different types of error or you yourself can decide to throw an error if something happens so yeah that is what error handling is not everything is here actually what is this not ev not 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 everything is here about errors but uh the basics that will you know propel you to learn more and serve as a foundation for you yeah they are right here i will also talk about some things that are not here like just a bit about it okay <coughs> If you are just joining us today we'll be working on uh we'll be discussing error handling we are not going to be going like deep into error handling but we are going to be you know just how we can use it you know simply in a simple way error handling javascript is a loosely typed language sometimes you will get a runtime error when you try to access an undefined variable or call undefined function and so on and so forth and I'm sure you guys have come across errors so many times. I'm sure of that. JavaScript, similar to Python or Java, provides an error handling mechanism to catch runtime errors using try, catch, finally block. In other words, there are three blocks that I can use for it. The last one is not really... The last one is not compulsory. It is optional. It is new, actually. But try and catch... You can't use try without catch when you try a particular code you can't just try for nothing it is it, this try is like okay you are like trying to run a code a block of code that will be executed here and then you want to catch an error if there is going to be an error from this block of code you want to catch it that is why try cannot exist alone and catch cannot exist alone so when you try a code you have to catch something in case it's just like you want to throw something at someone you can't just for example let's say your phone or a glass cup you can't throw it if nobody's there <clears throat> or you can't yeah you can't throw it if nobody's there so there is try and there's catch when you try you catch there's also another one that is optional it is also called throw we'll be talking about that later so this is it we have try you open your curly break uh, brackets you type your code that may throw an error you are not sure whether it will throw an error or not or in case it throws an error you want to catch it here using catch and takes in a parameter and the parameter it takes in is the error that is gotten from your code depending on the type of error that it gets it immediately goes in as a parameter here but whatever you type here you can type in anything here, err abc whatever but ERR is just, you know, error. So to make it more readable. So code to be executed if an error occurs. So if the if there is an error, we are what we are going to type here, it is the code to be executed. Whether you want to log the error on the console and see for yourself, or you want the code to do something, this and that, that and this. And also we have finally. So this finally you are going to uh, write in the code that will be executed regardless of an error whether it occurs or not so whether an error occurs whether it does not occur whatever you write here will be executed whatever you write here will only be executed if an error occurs and this is the code that is setting everything whether there will be an error or there will not be an error so try wrap Okay, did everyone get that? What's what I said here? Did everyone grab that? Did everyone catch that? 
Yes, continue. Okay, good. So try. Try is to wrap suspicious code that may throw an error in try block. The try statement allows us to define a block of code to be tested for errors while it is being executed. Catch. Write code to do something in catch block when an error occurs. The catch block can have parameters that will give you error information. Catch block is used to log an error or display specific messages to the user. Finally, finally block will always be executed regardless of the occurrence of an error. The finally block can be used to complete the remaining task or reset variables that might have changed before error occurred in try block. So this is an example that they have here. Uh, let's uh, first name, this and that, first name and so on and so forth. Let's, let us try it on our console. E. <clears throat> so what is this? Uh. Okay, so this is it. So we are trying. Okay, let's say we have actually. This is our code normally. Okay. So let last name, we are declaring a variable last name, storing it and assigning a string yet a to the variable. And let full name be equal to, we are, de we are declaring a variable called full name and we are assigning this to the variable, the value of this to the variable full name, which is first name plus empty string plus last name. Now there is a problem. First name has not been declared anywhere at all. I'm coming. This I myself make mistake. So yeah, first name has not been declared anywhere. So JavaScript on a norm, on a normal note, JavaScript will throw an error for you that first name is not defined. For example, if I console.log full name, actually it will not even be executed. That's the funny thing. It will not be executed. Let me see if I can. Uh, should be able to go live. Let me cancel this. Go live. I'll come to go just then. What am I looking for? <clears throat> this is variable. Uh -huh, number three. Let us check it. It is here. Number three, so it's even number three that is throwing an error for us. It is telling us that first name is not defined. So wherever JavaScript finds an error, on a normal note, it is not going to even continue the execution of the remaining code. It is just going to stop there. As you can see, if I do uh, console.log, let's say five plus three. It will not be executed because there was an error. It will just cut off the code, just cut it off, just like that. So now, and sometimes we might not even know the error, but if we look at the console, we will see our error right here. But another thing is, what if you want to pass this error to the user? You want the user to be able to see that, oh, this is the error. For example, let's say you are fetching uh, an information from an API, and then maybe the user does not have a stable network, so it's unable to fetch, or there was a problem while fetching, or there was an error, or it could not find what it was looking for. You want the user to be able to see that, oh, there was an error, and this is the error. Or you can even go to the point of creating your own custom message that, okay, if the user does not have stable internet, is not able to fetch that, uh, particular data from API, tell the user that your internet, your network is not stable or bad internet connection or this and that, that and this. So it all depends on so many things. So to do that, 
the first thing you do is you try your code using the try keyword try but i thought you cannot just use try alone because it's like the code is naked itself so as you can see missing catch or finally close so after trying you have to catch and it takes in a parameter i mean takes in a parameter um, error as it can take in any it can be abc abc it can be bcd it can be anything but we just use some use e some people use err some people use er some people type it a full error so it all depends on you whatever i want to use but i'll use err too i use either er or err depends depends as you can see now that we are using try and catch it executed our nest code even though there was an error in this code first name was not defined here before when we did not use try and catch well, let me just do this let me comment this out this and this well we did not use try and catch it did not even go past the line that had an error it just saw the error and was like no 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 i cannot do it again and then started screaming at me first name is not defined but the moment we use try and catch we are now able to undo our error so even though there is an error here it will see the error yes and then it will catch it and whatever i put here will be executed if there is an error then it will continue working as you can see console log 5 plus 8 it works if i go to my console now where is it where is it oh, do, do, do. oh i did not save sorry as you can see it you cannot even see any error anymore can everyone hear me guys yes. Yes. so as you can see there is no error there's nothing like error anywhere because i have undoed the error or no i'm not yet done so let me say i am handling the error you know it's just like there are problems in your place of work and you don't undo it well everything we just you know everything we just cut it to turn to a mess but if you can undo the situation well you can still you know try to patch things up so that everything will go smoothly that is what try and catch does so now i have caught the error what do i want to do if i say console.log i mean error oh with an exclamation mark maybe just to show the word in the string so if i go to my console you are going to see error that is what i'm saying is like it's similar to an if else statement so this is like if there is an error whatever it is whatever is written here inside this block whatever is written inside this block whatever is written inside this block will be executed so that's why when i said console.log error you are going to be able to see the error that this is not a custom this is something that i have customized to do if there is an error but now if i want to know the error itself the error that happened as you can see this catch takes a parameter and the parameter it takes is error and that error has information regarding the error like it's like a package of error like it's like an error package it has the information it can even give you the file the line number and so on and so forth so if i console.log the error now it will give me reference error first name is not defined so it will give me two things it is going to give me where is it oh i did not save it is going to give me two things the name of the error you know uh there was a time i think uh on the uh what do you want to say on the whatsapp page there was a time raj was telling you guys that there are different types of errors if i move on who can tell me about let's see four different types of errors at least you guys have been working with javascript for a long time so should be you should have seen some errors
guys? Refer reference <laughs> error. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, error. Yeah? Oh, of course, reference error. Which other one? Syntax error. Syntax error. Good, 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 good. Which other one? I usually see one. Um, something not in not initialized. So I don't know how the error is. But variable has not been initialized. The error just pop up. It's still going to be reference error. For example, when maybe something is not hoisted to the top, and then you are already trying to. For example, if you are calling an arrow function before it was declared, arrow functions are not hoisted. So, yeah, you get is a reference error. So, okay, well, what is syntax error? You mentioned syntax error. What, what, how, when do you get syntax error? Syntax error, as the name implies, when you are supposed to use, let's say, a particular notation, maybe a semicolon, then you fix in a column. When you're supposed to use a a comma then there's no comma something like that it it helps you to to highlight that error mm. like you call your yes yes you are right but i would i would say it only happens when let's say when you're like working with uh mathematical things when you're ev evaluating values you know on your calculator you do see okay. it right you do see it a lot on your calculator Yes, yes, exactly. yes. So that's a syntax error. There's reference error. Someone said 404. Well, there's URL error. Yeah, there is uh there is type error. There is uh which other one, which other one, which other one? Is there, is there any error like logical <laughs> some maybe it is not logical, it not making sense, then choose out error. Is there an error like that? What do you mean by it is not it is not logical? Like the other thing you did wasn't it was it's not cool. I don't I don't know if I've, I've seen something like that. I don't know if it if, I can't remember. If you if you like write dirty code, JavaScript will still bring it out for you. But if something is wrong, for example, if there is a reference error, it will bring it out for you. If there is a syntax error, it will bring it out for you. If uh, the the type of uh, variable that you entered is invalid, it will bring it out for you. It, an error will only come out when something is not valid. That's when an error will come out. When you mean by no logical, if you do, for example, uh, you are writing a condition. You are saying uh, two greater than less than two. Expression expected. So or two greater than is equal to less than two. This 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 does not make sense. So it will bring out the syntax error for you. So yeah, there's also something called, uh, for example, if there is uh, a numeric variable that is too big, or that yeah that is too big, it will that it will bring out a range error. So you guys can go and check all these errors. There are different types of errors. But in this case, what we are getting is this one is not declared. So it's bringing out a reference error for us. However, okay, if I start jumping and jumping, let us check this. Let us go with them too. So here there was an error. The console log this, yes. Reference error, name is not defined at. So it's also going to give you the line 420. Let me see, did it give me the line? Yes, the name of the file. So it will give you different things. It will give you the name of the error, this error name, reference error, the message, the error message, first name is not defined, that's the error message. The name of the file, the file name, variable.js. And the third thing to give you is the line. The line is uh, line four. And then this 18 is, I think, maybe the something type of error because the, the, they, are, they are a lot, actually. So we have that in the bag. So this is another one. Okay, finally. Now this time around they used finally. I told you that finally, regardless of uh, the presence of the error, finally will be executed. It does not give it them. Finally. Uh, let me just console.log. 
I do not care in a string. Yes. Yes. So finally, it's going to be executed. Whether there is an error or there is no error, finally, as the name implies, finally do this. It's be executed. For example, if let's say you are getting the location of a place uh, of from an API, or should I say using an API, you are getting the location. So let's say you want to get the distance, like from where the person is to a particular location. So when the person checks if if the person is able to if the, the person is able to you know if, uh, if you if fetch the data this and that this and that it to bring out the distance between where that person is <coughs> the distance between where that person is and the location that you have set so this time around if it is unable to get the data you, it will bring out an error but finally what you can put in as finally is uh we are done done you can tell it to bring out done to the user so done is going to come out whether it gets the distance or there's an error done will be there so that is an example of how to use finally the final thing that should be executed or the final block of code that should be executed regardless of if there's an error here so that is how that works that is finally what was the example they used yeah in any case i will be executed so yes the catch block takes a parameter it is common to pass e or err or error as a parameter to catch to the catch block the reason why i don't use e is because one I don't like using one letter words for my whether it's parameters or variable whatever i don't like using one letter words two when you use e uh when you are using an event too some people use e so instead of that i prefer to use er or arr and then for events i use ev well, i type out the event so yes this parameter is an object yes the parameter the error takes the parameter is an object and it has name and message keys. Let us use the name and the message. So what they are trying to say is, so here we console logged the error. If we want to get the name, it's an object. The error looks like this. A parameter that is being passed, it can be ABC or whatever, but in our case, we passed in ERR. It's still the same thing. Uh, <coughs> So it looks like this ERR is an object and in that object, there is the name of the error. Uh, in our case, it is a reference error. There is the name of the error. There is the message. So <coughs> message. In our case, first name is not defined. Here is the, I think there, there should be more. There should be line number, this and that and so on and so on. Except if that is only for the error object or they do not show it there. Well, well, well. So there is the name and there is the message, a message keys. Let us use name and message. Did they talk about more? Did they not talk about more? Oh, these are different types of errors. I'm coming. Did not talk about more. Let me try. Except if it's only for the error object. I will talk about the error object too. Although they did not talk about it. Did not talk much about it. So if I say dot message key uh, dot name okay uh, uh, number ah it's only for the error object then the error object itself uh, it's only for the error object i don't want to check that so it takes in two keys the object that is here that you pass in inside catch 
it takes in it has two keys the name and the message key so if you want to assess the excuse me the name and the message key themselves are present that is why you can use dot and it works because the name of the key itself is message while the name of the what do you call it the name of the key itself is message while the name of the uh, other key that is as is name name that was why i can use the dot notation and it works so if you want to get the name of the error like i did earlier you do error dot name dot n e m e if you want to get the message you do error you type in error dot message that's how it works so if i go to my console let me save this if i go to my console you will see reference error right there so we also have another thing called true or before that yes true the true statement allows us to create a custom error our own customized error we can throw a string number boolean or an object use the throw statement to throw an exception when you throw an exception expression spe specifies the value of the exception each of the following throws an exception this is a throw error two it generates an exception with a string value throw 42 it generates an exception with the value 42 throw true it generates an exception with the value true true new error required generates an error message an error object with the message of required so this error object is what i will talk about a bit because they did not really throw light on it if, if i yeah no you throw light on it so now this is an example right here yes let us use this example yes let us use the example so we have this in the bag now let me take away the catch first the try and catch so this is it <coughs> So you have this. Uh, what, is it, what is it telling me? Line 33. What are you expecting, line 33? Line 33. What is it saying? Unexpected token, line 33. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, okay. I understand this. Let me do this. I done okay so this is it we have a function and the name of the function this function is true error example fun so we declared uh, a variable I'm coming let me see where they used this variable let's message did not even use it. Why did they throw it? Interesting. Anyhow, they declared a variable message, which, to be honest, I don't think. And then they declared another variable, let x. Let x be equal to prompt enter a number. That is, they will prompt the, the user to enter a number. In other words, if you remember how prompt works, it prompts it works similar to alert. Once the person is to just bring out an alert box, to just bring a pop-up box, boom. And then whatever the user enters there, what the variable you assign to it will take that value. So for example, if I go to this, oh, no, 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 this place. Can you see? 
prompt. It's now prompting me to enter a number. So whatever I type here will be the value of x. Oh, let me see if it is going to work. Oh, x, oh, it was defined inside the function. So I cannot access it from the console like that itself. The only way I can access it is if I do this. Let's see. Uh, wait, wait, see how. Ah. Mm, I'm trying to remember my sniper too. CLG. Okay, yes. Uh, console.log. Uh, let's see, x. It's x one console.log. So, yeah, for now it's not a number. But now it's prompting me to enter a number. If I enter 10, and I go to my console, let's see, you'll see 10. So x is going to take a value of 10. So whatever I type in, it's going to prompt me to type in something. And whatever I type in, the variable that was attached to it is going to take in that value. And that variable in this case is x. Can you, can you guys hear me? The silence is too... It's uncanny. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, now... They are... Yes, it's done. <laughs> no now but these to be questions suggestions something something okay that's cool so we set a number of conditions or should i say they set a number of conditions first condition if x is an empty string second condition if x is not a number third condition if x is a number uh if x is less than five. Oh, this is not a condition. This is just a statement. Now they have turned x to a number. That's what they did here. They changed the type. So if x is less than five, if x is greater than 10, and yes, that is all. So yes. So now I want to be throwing errors. Like depending on what x is, on the value of x, we want to be throwing our own errors. So... And you cannot just throw without catching. When, when you throw something, someone must catch it. That's why you need, if you notice what they did, there was a try. Then they threw with the, after each condition, this is it. And then the error was caught here. So, oh no. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So the first thing I have to do is, I have to... Uh, try my code. When you are trying to code, there might be errors, so you must catch it. Catch and fixing the parameter, let's say. Yeah, uh, and that is not all. Let's say I want something to be done, no matter what, whether there is an error or there is no error. I do not care. So I'll say, finally, should also dot like this bad boy for me so yes i have a try i have a catch i have a finally so now i want to be throwing custom errors i want to be throwing custom errors so if x is uh, and the thing is when the answer to the condition you are writing or when the code to be executed for the condition you are writing is a one line you actually do not need uh, this to open this curly bracket. You do not need it. So, and since what I want to type is a one line, I just want to throw something. So let's say I want to throw, uh, you entered a string. So this is a one liner. So I can either do this or just leave it naked. Doesn't really matter. So, I will throw you enter the string if the person does not enter anything. Oh, you didn't enter anything. It's an empty string. You entered nothing. Yes, it's, it's an empty string. So, if it is not a number, uh, this, I will throw... What... 
to enter is not a number. Now they have converted to a number, blah, 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 blah. So if it is greater than five, I'll say, to be honest, I do not need this. I also do not need this. I also do not need this. If it is greater than five, let me draw. Oh, if it's less than five, number is small. If it is greater than 10, throw out. Okay. So yes, this is what I have. And then in the catch, in the catch code, I want to, let's say, I want to log on the console. Uh, coming. I want to log on the console. Oof. Let me see. Did they customize anything there? Did they customize anything? No, they not customize anything. I want to customize something. Uh, Oof. See. What okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, we have this, we have that. So now what I've done is for each condition, I am throwing my own personal error, my custom error. When you use true, what you are throwing is an error. This time around, I'm throwing a string. I'm just throwing strings, actually. Okay. Just throwing strings. I don't just want to be throwing strings. This time around, when it's less than five, I'm throwing zero for it. So, so yeah, let's put it this way. So I'm just trying to trade. I can throw anything. You can throw an object. You can throw a new error object. I will also show you guys how to do that because error is also an object. This is the error object. We'll also work on it later on. So yes, this is it. So for each condition, I am telling you to throw an error and I am catching the error here. This is just a small thing. In bigger uh, scenarios or in real life scenarios, what you are going to throw is maybe it should do something else. Maybe do this, do that. Uh, you want to throw, like you can throw almost anything. You can throw anything. So, and then this catch here, whatever you throw, will be taken in as an as this parameter here. And whatever you do here is going to work on it, if you want it to work on it anyways. So does everyone understand that if I show you guys the results? Jesus Christ, who is that? Ah, is that an alien? Who is that? Back. Aha, you, you wanted to say something. I said yes. You said we are ah, Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good, good. That is good. So if I go here and I type, uh, what do we have? We have, oh, if I don't type anything. Enter a number. I'm not typing anything now. Oh, where did I press before? Oh my God. Let's check. Well, let's check our console. What you entered is you entered nothing. In other words, nope. In other words, I did not enter anything. In other words, this was what happened. I entered nothing. So because I entered nothing, it will throw the error because I, I what I did here is that if I entered nothing, an empty string, throw this error. So this place 
where catch is, it is going to catch that error here and put the error here inside this parameter. Whatever I'm throwing, we take this parameter is going to take in that value. So, and here I am working on it. I'm working on that value. You can decide not to work on it. It depends on you. But why would you try an error you don't want to work on? So I'm passing it a string, what I did, and then the error itself. This is not compulsory. I just did this to show you that I can do anything with it. So that is why on my console, I am having what you did is, and then the error. You entered nothing, which was what I threw here. If, let's see, I reload, and then I enter, let's say, TT. It will tell me what I entered is false. And as you can see, finally, it's still happening no matter what. Console.log x, that's what's in finally. So TT is there. This was what I typed. And it's telling me what I entered is false. Why? Because if what I entered is not a number, I want it to throw false to me. If I also try and make it, uh, let's say I enter 3. What you did is 0 because... What I threw there was zero. So it's going to show me zero. And then the last thing, if I enter 88, I will get, wow, what you did is, wow, big one, which was what I passed there. So that's trying, catching, try, catch, and finally. Try, catch, and finally. It looks simple, but I beg of you, try your hands it on was... it. Okay, wait, Online says, 31. Line 31. Line 31. Is it? Now, what like this one is doing is that it's just converting it to a number. It's converting x to a number. That's what it's doing. So that's why, to be honest, it's, it's, it's not necessary to anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um. For line thirty-five. Mm -hmm. I I want to ask the 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 error parameter. Is it what is catching? What try access to um to throw? The thing is there's try there's catch. If uh, okay, I'm coming. Let me try and do something. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just chill. Did I save it? I thought I saved it, no? Oh, wait. Uh, there's something I want to do, but it is not working out. If this is equal to true, this big one, let's, let me comment this out. And let me see if to work. Mm, there was something I wanted to do, but this is not working. Okay, let's say uh, I do this. Mm, it's still not going to work. It's still not going to work. I wanted to use it to set an example, but uh, 32. I'm coming. Let me see if it works. Uh, only 32, this and that, this and that, this and that. Mm. What I want to do is not working. Mm. Well, it is what it is. I'll try something else. Okay, so uh, what was I saying? So this was what I said. You are trying, you are throwing, and you are catching. Normally, okay, don't let me say normally. If you try and catch, if this has an error, the this will be this parameter. We catch that error. Do you catch the error object, and you can be able to console log that error here and work on it. Yeah, you can console log it or do whatever you. Put inside this catch 
is what is going to be executed. Let me just put it that way. Now, where did you stop understanding? You know, I did, did you understand try, catch, and finally, like without throwing? Did you understand that? Yes. So yes. now, the difference is try and catch, it is going to catch the error. Like, you did no custom error. Like, the error that JavaScript sees itself, that is what it is going to catch. It is going to catch an error object, which we talked about is going to contain the name and message. That is, the error object has two keys, name and message. The one it is catching here, name and message. However, in this case, what is happening is we are throwing our own custom errors. That if, this, if something happens, we want to throw this type of error. Here, what we threw was a string. Here, we threw a boolean. Here, we threw a number. You can also throw an error object, but I don't want to show you that now. I'll show you like after this when we are done with this. You can also throw an error object. You can throw almost anything. And whatever you throw will be caught here. That is why everything we throw, we can see it here depending on what happens. Do you understand? So throwing yes. is you are throwing your own custom errors. Or your own custom error. Anyhow, you want to see it. There's something I want to. There's something I want to check. Give me a minute. Let's see. It just came in twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Reference error why is not defined as true example this and that this and that. So as you can see, I intentionally made a mistake, like a JavaScript mistake. I did not define why. I did not define why, but I included why in my code. Normally, JavaScript would have thrown an error. It would have screamed an error at me and then to stop executing the code at this line. Because this is where the mistake is. So it will stop executing the code at this line. And then everything downwards will not be executed. But because I'm using try and catch, JavaScript is going to catch the error here. So it will catch an error that uh -uh, Y is greater than 10. Where is Y? I have never seen Y before in my life. So it is going to tell you that, oh, reference error, this and that. And also, my normal errors too will be working. For example, if I reload, that was what I was trying since. If I reload and I type, uh, let's say nothing. If I type nothing, what you did is you entered nothing. Mm. Just right there. So let me try something else to make sure. To make sure that everything is good. Let me comment this out. Uh, I don't think it's going to work though. Let's see if it works. Ah, it works. And it's telling me to enter a number. So this time around, let me enter one. Try twice now. Let me enter one. Bam, bam, bam. What you did is number 15. I'm coming number 35. What you did is zero. Aha, 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 aha. So now look at what I did here. This right here is a JavaScript error. Okay, let me. Try something. Let's 
sich freuen. Val 15. I do not care. I'm coming. Right at 7. 1.44. No, no, no. This was not what I wanted. This was not what I wanted. Let me change this to X. Mm. I'm coming at X plus uh, plus. I can't see my screen. Plus Y. Happen this time around. Let's see one. Why is not defined. So see, there's something I want to use to explain. For zero. So let's say one. What you did is zero. Aha, aha, aha. So yes, this is it. So this is try. This is catch. If you guys understood what I said, tr by try and catch is. Let me uncomment this. If you guys understood what I said by try and catch, without throwing a custom error. What you are going to get is the real, like the inbuilt JavaScript error, if there is one, if it exists. It's so passing. What you now land here is going to be the error object, which has two keys, the name and the message. So having that, that is what you will have normally. But now when you are throwing a custom error, one thing I want you to know is that your custom error can override the inbuilt error. Because you can only pass in one error through this place. If you notice, there are two errors here. In fact, three errors. So I'm coming. Let me make it two. If you notice, there are two errors here. The first error that happened is uh, when I said one, when I passed in one here. And when I passed in one, one is less than five, as you can see. So, because 1 is less than 5, it is going to throw 0. And what throw does, it throws an error. So, this 0 is like what is throwing as a result of this. So, it's already seen this as an error. So, it should throw 0. So, that 0 will land here as an error. However, even though after that, there is another error. And that error is this Y. I did not define Y anywhere. If you notice, if I uncomment this line, if I uncomment this line and I, yes, and I input a number, we are going to get an error. This is the normal JavaScript error, reference error. Why is not defined? This and that, this and that. But if I bring this line back to life, I will not get that error. It's going to throw me my custom error, the error that I did, like that I customized, that I made to, that I brought to life. Let me put it that way. So that's what it's going to do. Did it, does everyone understand that? Let me try something else. Yes. But well, so what about if you make this two if now, statement? Wait, 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 oh, wait. Yeah. So what it does is that it throws the first error. This was the first error it found. You know, this error is before this error. This JavaScript uh, reference error. This error is before it. So it threw it first. However. If I say x is 11 as, oh, I wrote 13. If I say x is 13, which is this, it is this error. But this JavaScript error is already, be, is already before this one, before it will execute this one. So it will see this error first. Immediately it sees the error, it passes it to catch. It will, throw it, it will take it to catch and catch will catch that error. So have it in mind that whether you have custom a custom error or a whatever JavaScript error, what is going to be caught is the first error it sees. 
So the first error it sees, whether it is your custom one or the normal JavaScript one, that is what is going to be caught. That's what I've been trying to do since morning, since since all this white I've been manipulating this thing. Do you understand? Okay, okay. so what mm -hmm. you mean is mm -hmm. you have more than if you have more than one error, mm -hmm. it's the only uh, show you the, the first one. Yeah, the first one it is. Yes. So how would you know the, the other error? Uh. Well, how would you know the other error? <laughs> oh, I do not know. That I do not know. It's only catch the first error. That is what I know. That is what I know. So yeah, but I will take I'll take your question home, and if I find something, I will let you know. I will let you know. So yes, we have that for that. Uh, questions? Do does anyone have another question? Hands in the air. This is time. Let me check my battery. Uh, yes, yeah, for, for for line for line thirty two. And nine thirty two and what? So what about if you, yeah, what I what I just thought about is I want to know what kind of error to true for. For instance, I do if x is less than five, uh -huh. or or if x is greater than and if x is greater than ten. If x is less than five and greater than ten. Oh. Ah ah. Yeah. You know, yes. Can you, can you hear me? Wait, I can hear you. That is impossible now. For a number to be less than 5 and greater than 10 at the same time. Hello? Okay, what he said, he wants to know the type of error. He said he wants to know the type of error that we throw. The thing is, where if, if you write something, if x is greater than 5, if x is less than 5, and x is greater than 10, you will not even get anything because that condition can never be fulfilled because it is impossible for a number to be less than 5 and at the same time greater than 10 because the numbers that are greater than 10 are already greater than 5 so it cannot be less than 5 okay so i think that's not an error the thing is that condition can never be fulfilled it is an impossible condition so the problem is with the condition i have to get the question well because that condition is an impossible condition it's just like you are saying uh a man is walking forwards and backwards at the same time if a man is walking forwards and backwards at the same time i want this to happen what you want to happen will never happen because the condition you set at first is already impossible X less than 5 and greater than 10? No. What you can do is, if X is less than 5 or X is greater than 10. So, once you do this, even if X is greater than 10, it will throw 0 because it is before this one. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, let's use... 14. 14, 14. Can you see? It will throw 0. Because it met this before this. Even though it would have worked to yeah, because my x was 14. And 14 is greater than 10. But it already met the condition x is greater than 10 right here. So it will throw 0. You understand? Yeah. The guy that asked, do you understand? For the young man that asked the question. Yes, I guess so. Okay, that is good. That is good, that is good. So, 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 so. Oh, types of error. We have reference error. An illegal reference has occurred. The reference error is thrown if we use a variable that has not been declared. We've already talked about that. A syntax error has occurred. Yes, I told you it's when it comes to all these evaluation uh, mathematical things. So two times uh, this is this console.log square. On cuts, 
syntax error because it's, this is not so multiplied by two this is 2x2 so javascript does not know what 2x2 is so it will tell you syntax error unexpected identifier a type error this you want to make 10 lowercase the only strings can be made uppercase or lowercase so it will tell you type error the type of whatever you are working on is wrong so num dot lowercase is not a function because this is not a number method. So these are some of the common errors. We have so many other ones. Though. I mentioned them earlier on. If you want, or you want me to mention them again, go and check it yourself. There is a uh, internal error. There is reference error. There is reference error. There which one? There is a range error. I mentioned that at the beginning of the class. There is uh, I think that's what I can remember. Oh, someone said four for this URL error too. So yeah, so many of those things. And now what I will only speak about a bit so that at least you guys can digest this one is uh, the error objects. In other words, you can throw an error object yourself. When I mean error objects, this is what I mean. E double R O R. This is an error object. Uh, for example, let me see. Let's uh, Ninja be equal to new what error. I think it goes with a bracket if I'm not wrong. Or uh, whatever. Let's check. Console.log danger. Uh, Ninja error as you can see where is it where is line 44 for crying out loud why don't i see line 44 oh oh god that's why i don't like using all this prompt and alerts whatever ah now you tell me x is not defined Hmm. <laughs> so you guys saw what I just did. I just made the error disappear. In other words, I handled the error. There was an error here because I commented this out and this one was just hanging out there naked in the code, uh, in, in inside the code without anything to undo it. So it was train an error saying that X was not defined because I commented this out. So there is nothing like let X. So X here is not defined. So it's train an error. So I undoed it using try and catch, made it disappear so that the code after it can be executed. So that's the way of doing it. so 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 that i can see my danger at least and still i cannot see my danger i do not care reference error it's where did you say i do not care i'm coming let's see why can't i see it on my console what's going on by showing on coca is this the wrong console oh mm -hmm. i get so yes perfect okay 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 good so yeah it's still telling me x is not defined whatever error so yes it is error so it will show me an error so this danger is taken in the error object but for now, I have not, uh, how can I say it? I have not um, worked on it. That is why it is showing me just one single thing. As if it's a normal, it's a normal real life, whatever. That's why it's showing me. If you also try it inside this console, let's say new error. It'll also show you the same thing. So you have that for that. So. Right here, what I have done is I've created a new error object. 
Now, this object takes in quite a number of parameters. You can take in, uh, I was talking about file name and so on, line number and whatever. However, this one only takes in number and I said number. It only takes in name and message, which we tried. It does not take in the other parameter that, uh, what do you call it? The other parameter that uh, this one takes, what do you call it? File name. Oh, wait, what if I do this? Options dot file name. Yeah. So yeah, I get it's only the name and objects. Oh, wait, let's try line number. So yeah, line number two is undefined. So it only takes name and message. However, in this big boy, in this big boy, it takes in so many things. You to take the message, the options, the file name, and so on and so forth. For example, uh, you can throw an error. You can throw a new error here. For example, if let's say when x is when x is is not a number in which I'll type in a string. I want to throw a new error. A new error. And inside that error, uh, so inside this error thing or whatever, you can pass in a message. So let's say the message I want to pass in is, uh, oops, new error found so if i go to this place where it's going to pop up whatever it will pop up for me again what you will see is uh, yes oops new error found so this is like an error object that i have created there are lots and lots of ways to work on it though so 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 and then uh, something good about this is you can throw in your custom error and still have the original error. For example, you can say if this, you should do this, if this, you should do this, if this, you should do this. Then in your catch, it is in your catch that the, <clears throat> that the, what do you call it? That the magic is going to happen. For example, if let's say if x is not a number i want to uh, i'll be my catch anyways so let's catch if x is number i want to throw a new error now i can use it like this actually i want to throw a new error this and then what you did is it should give me <coughs> this error so 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 uh, hmm, how can i make this work together Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, this is less than 10. So there, I want you to catch two errors together. Okay, yeah, I think it should work. Let's see if I type in something that is not a, something that is not a number. Incoming. Why is it telling me first name is not defined? And it is not saving what I told it to do for me. This is none. What you did is, where is it? Line 35. Line 35. I'm not sure I saved that. Um, let me check again. Jeez. 
upcoming reference error is not defined, so 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 so, so and so forth. This and that, this and that. Okay, okay, I think I got my mistake. So the thing is, in the new error, you can pass in more than one parameter. You can pass in the message, and also you can pass in something else. For example, if I want to pass in this message, and at the same time, I want to pass in the error that caused it. Yeah, that was my mistake. I think. Um, uh, error found, comma, error is. So new error found, comma, error is. So if I type something that is not a number, Why is this still not working for me? Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Let me remove this condition and frustrate. Let's see. Is it telling me reference error? This and that, this and that. What is going on here? Oops, new error, this and that, this and that. Or, oh, let me do this. Error. This still doesn't work, and something is wrong somewhere. I have to check my code very well. Reference error, first name is not defined. This and that, this and that. I'm coming. This console.log. Uh -uh. Let's see if this works. This. Yes. Yes, reference error, why is not defined? Okay, that means the error exists somewhere. Oh! I know why it did not work. Oh, I was not console.logging it. You guys did not say anything. How will I see what I did not log in the console on the console? And everybody just kept quiet. It was until I typed console.log. Yeah. I saw that something was. So now, hey. I have to save it in any variable or not. Console log. True. Ah, I'll have to save it somewhere. Let's. We have to save it somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Let's uh, new one equal to missing so many things. Things I'm trying to look for a way to log it out on the console. Hmm. How can I log this out on the console? How can I log it out on the console? Or maybe you don't need to throw it. If I just console that log the new error. No, no, I have to throw it. I have to. I want you guys to be able to see the error. That Hello. oh, the error is there. Yeah, I can hear you. That is why I want to make sure I console log it. Uh, I want you guys to be able to see that error. So that it should not be as if it's just magic from nowhere. Let's do this. Uh, but then is it won't work again. Uh, you guys will not be able to see this error unless I console log it. That's why I need to make sure you guys are able to see it on 
the console. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, your new found error is and then the error itself. Mm. Well, well, well. So apparently, I don't think this will show on the console. That's one thing. And I am very sorry about that. But one thing you should know is that it is going to throw that particular error for you. It should throw that error for you. Or let me do it this way. So this is what it is throwing, right? So I want you guys to add this is uh let's new one I did last time. I think it should throw like this. New one. Yes, 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 yes. Well, now the only problem here is that it is going to see this particular one as a problem. Okay, how about this? Reference error, why is not defined? Come in. Uh, error, right, no. error is so 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 and so let's see what new one will bring out. This and this. Oops, new error is a true example for an this and that, this and that. Mm. Okay, that means I'll have to personally go and find a way to console.log the error as a whole for you. So that you guys can be able to at least see the error on your console. But you guys get uh, what it is about throwing an error here and there, here and there. <laughs> But okay, I don't know if it's this one, but then I think you taught us how to like make an error, like you know, normal JavaScript error as the color of red. Uh -huh. Like, can we do that with all this error we are doing? So, you can know in your computer, oh, and yeah, you do console.one. You guys did the uh, console.log class now, no? You guys did console.log class. <laughs> I was there, it was touchy that taught you guys. Oh, I said console.one, right? That would just warn me. Console.error. E double error. What you are going to do is console.error. And that will give you. Yes, as you can see, it will bring it out like an error for you on the console. So you guys attend your classes. This was just. Oh. That was just the last class we had, like before we we're doing revision. That was just the last class we had, console log. I remember it very well. So this is it. There's console.one, console.error. You guys can go and play around with it. So if you want to make it to be visible as an error for you, this is it. This is what you do. Console.error, then pass in whatever you want to pass. And as you can see, it will bring it out as if it's an error. You can see that. Hmm? Whoever asked the question, the person has disappeared. Imagine. Hello? I did not disappear. I did not disappear. Okay, she said she did not disappear. So, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I was actually... Uh... You were actually what? You were actually what? Oh, 
Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. It's quiet. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you speak. I did not say anything. I was defending myself when you said I disappeared. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, There's something else I want to I want to be showing you guys something on the console. Oh, so this is the name. It's bringing out reference error. This bring out reference error. Why is not defined? So. Error.name. So this is it because I did not give it a name. That's why it's showing me undefined. So message not defined too. I'll just show you that if you throw a custom error now, especially if you don't put uh, what they call it there, if you don't throw it as an object, if you throw a custom error, the name the error dot message and the error dot name is going to give you undefined. However, if you do this error and then you pass in a message, uh, let's say uh, I am an error. Let's see what will happen. Raise yourselves, people. So now the error dot message is telling me that what? that it is an error because I passed it in as an object. Yeah, I passed it the error object here. And then inside the object, it takes in a message. So you will find error.message. If I pass, I want to check the name. That's why, I don't know why they made it. The name is error. Why? This is the name here, error. That is why I sincerely do not know why it was so short here. Because there are so many things when it comes to errors. There are instances of errors, like you can create uh, an object that, okay, in this instance, if it is a syntax error, I want this to happen. If it's a reference error, I want this to happen. You can do so many things, even differentiate between two errors, between one error and the other. Check the cause of the error here and there. So I don't know why it was so, it was so short, but I guess you guys should take that for now. If you have questions, you can come and ask me. Hmm? You guys heard me? Okay. So, oh. as you can see, oh, this is it, good. Even in the exercises, what they told you to do is just practice and practice and practice. Because you have to be experimenting, finding ways to get one error from an order, creating your own personal error object your custom error object where you can create your own keys even the keys can be okay what to do maybe cause of the error why the error failed this and that this and that so many things it's a very how can i say it a very interesting 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 uh interesting topic very very interesting and you use it. That's one thing. You always use try and catch. And the more you know about it, the more it's going to help in your work. So that you can be able to catch some specific errors and work on them. That even if your code has an error, it will still work. It will still do what it's meant to do. Because you know that, okay, these are the bugs that I'm expecting. So if there's this bug, I want this to be corrected. If there's this bug, I want this to be corrected. If there's this bug, I want this to be corrected. And voila, you have a working code. Even though it's not... <laughs> It's not really a working code, but well, who will know? They will never know. So, yep, you have that. So, for this one, just one try it. Just try and catch. Try to get the errors. Read so many things online. And it's, yeah, it's so nice. I like it. 
so you have that for that it's a very deep topic oh. let's go and check errors it's a very very deep topic but here yeah, they just made it so this is the shortest so far i think try and catch it's so short you just did try and catch and finally and build out and they just showed you the tip of the iceberg here this on its own should be a topic so yeah we have that for that how many minutes do we have we have 20 more minutes so questions you have something to say but sorry i've not forgotten the question you were meant to solve but sorry you can hear me right <laughs> Hello, you guys can hear me. Barakat, can you? Yes, hear me? you're talking to me. Sorry. Busari, I said the question. Yes. The question you were meant to solve. Have you solved it? Yes. Sorry, I I was even going to remind you after the class. I was praying. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But have you solved it? No. <laughs> Why? Sorry, I actually went through. I I went through your object class again this morning and you were still unable so to solve to it you know i, I already mm, I, you know i already gave you the conditions all you have to write was the code to be executed <laughs> let me see oh my god mm. can you can you paste the question in the chat box here uh, something that I already solved within how many minutes? Wait, what's this? Ah, this was one regex question. I wanted to post my own answer, but it was locked, so I could not post my own answer. People were posting their answers. Hmm, this one is for senior men. Interesting. I have question. Aha, uh -huh, this was it. This is the answer. Oh, wait, maybe you guys should solve it. If you screenshot your screen, eh? And this is half of the answer. In fact, this is 90% of the answer. Getting the conditions is actually 90% of the answer, which was what I helped you to do last class. So maybe you guys should try and solve it by it. Oh, oh okay. Thank you for staying with us. Please make sure you do your tasks and happy new week in advance.